back to Down at the Docks. Today we've got special guest Sean Webster joining us. So we're going to dive into Hello. his uh, early days. Of course. And uh, just have a conversation. I started when I was 14, I'm 18 now, and started set up an Instagram account. I was posting drawings and I, okay. you know, when you look back and you cringe at old stuff and it's like, why I, did I post? I do it every day, that. It's horrible, yeah. isn't it? But <laughs> Started that and then that was like in the May of 2016 and then October got contacted by my first client, Tracy Lawrence, who I'm still working with now, like five years on. Okay. Picture books and stuff. So we've done like 60 books together now. And th things kind of went from that. It's, it's been, been a fun four years, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like starting early, do you know what I mean? Mm, mm. It's given me kind of a lot of open doors and... Okay. Um, yeah, so where did your early inspirations come from? Inspiration, it's, it's interesting because they've changed like dramatically over the years. Like it started off very like picture book based, Axel mm -hmm. Scheffler, or mm -hmm. like you know the Gruffalo. Mm -hmm. Like it was all, yeah, yeah. all those types of things. And then since then, it's like I've got got on my hoodie and that now. I've got Keith Haring, yeah. uh, Mr. Brainwash, more, more, more and more pop art, street art kind of. Bespoke. Kind of vibes, but yeah, high yeah. impact, exactly, yeah. and more with like a meaning behind them and mm. the stories. Like, I don't know about you, but like, I feel like as like an artist, it's good to have that little story to tell people. Like, I bet you when you're talking about your stuff, you'll be like, Oh, I started doing this, and then yeah, it's good to have that behind you, isn't it? I guess. <clears throat> Just usually with me, there's like a, there's a slight emotion behind every, yeah, even if it's a sketch. Um, there's, a, there's usually a, uh, um, there's an emotion behind why you're doing it initially, and it develops further, whether you, you take a sketch further, obviously, leave it as it is. Yeah. It's and like sometimes. when you flick through an old sketchbook and you start, the, the, the memory association, isn't it, and stuff like that, so it's digging up all. Literally. I, I guess it's, <clears throat> like you just said, the sketchbook thing, you go back and it's like, oh, I remember doing that in that place, but then sometimes I'll just be like, something might have happened or, mm. you know, I'll be sitting on the bus thinking about something that's coming up or, and I find like, yeah, I do it as a business. I do it for a job. But I also find like, mm. I get a release out of just drawing. You know, if something's, if something's yeah. on my mind and it's bothering me, I feel like, mm. you know, I draw cartoons, fun cartoons, <clears> and I still think. Sometimes, yeah, it. sometimes they say to just write a, a list of but I guess for artists, you can't write a list. You do a drawing. Yeah. To get weirdly it Weirdly enough, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, going away from the art for like a second, the other thing, like, I know it sounds really cringy, but like mm. writing little, like, not poems, but like little words to go with the drawings. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I've always done that. I don't really show that in my art. Like, I have been more and more, but it's like, mm. yeah, it, it, you, you, get, you get a lot from it. Not only is a job, but it's, there's the personal, personal mm. elements, mm. isn't there, to, to you're it all. Throwing, you're throwing your blood and guts into it. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like I say, it's been, been, been going for <clears> four or <throat> five years now. I've got the studio in town, Mersey Made. It's like awesome. 10 artists upstairs. It's Brilliant. Like good vibes and stuff. Yeah. You, you learn a lot from, like even just talking to you about like your story and your work. I've, you pick mm. up things from people you meet, don't you? And, I find everyone That's inspiring hot. and yeah. people rub off on me yeah. constantly. I've got, a, I've got an obsessive person, personality, mm. so I get locked onto things yeah. massively, you know. It's, it's good that though, isn't it? Because like growing up, like it was always <clears throat> like my parents used to say I used to get obsessed with stuff. So mm. if like a new film mm. came out, mm. I'd be like obsessed yeah. with that film for like a month straight. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's kind of stuck now still yeah. if i get if i get like an idea in my head mm. i won't stop till mm -hmm. i've got it do you know what i mean if i want a certain job or work with send someone yeah i totally understand you that. just go for it don't you do you know what i mean it's uh, yeah i was when i when i was younger i was notorious for staying awake for like four days straight just nailing a, a piece of artwork or something you've got it haven't you got i used it. to like before i moved into like digital art myself i um yeah. i was an oil painter but just right. just hobbyist too I, it wasn't like professional or anybody yeah. whatsoever. I used to stay yeah. awake for three three days in a row. Just nailing like a My picture God. of like 
I used to like drawing pictures of like Debbie Harry from Blondie. Oh, yeah, fine. you know Blondie, yeah. Rings a bell. The Rings band. A bell. See, I feel like this has came up before. Yeah. I feel like someone said this to me before <laughs> about like same band. I'm like, yeah, I know them, but um, yeah, rings like a bell. Pump pop. Is it pump pop? Punk pop from the eighties. Yeah. Interesting. Like she was before my time, just yeah. So she's probably way out of your time, Debbie Harry. But uh, mm. I like the cult artwork following with it and stuff like that. And you know, when you're working, do you like? I do this a lot. Like I have to listen to like. Well, I work best when music's playing. I know yeah. that sounds really like... No, no, I, 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 I always have tunes playing myself. Yeah. Like... Bon Jovi, Beatles. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you not, are you <laughs> not, nah. I'll let you off on the Beatles, but uh, yeah. Bon Jovi, I'm not, I'm not there. See, I, la- last year, yeah, it was like just before lockdown, I, um, Bon Jovi's guitarist was in Liverpool. Okay. His, but he's got like his own band as well. Mm-hmm. And I'd done a drawing of him and just posted it on social media. I was like, tagged him in it. I was yeah. like, do you know what? Let's be cheeky. I was like, pop down to the studio, you know. Yeah. I've got this print for you. And his tour manager got in touch. Yeah. Um, said, meet me here this time. Yeah. And they took me to a private sound check. Got to meet him. That's brilliant. Got to see the gig and stuff. It's so awesome. Like surreal. Because I'd seen him at Anfield the year before. Mm-hmm. And he was like standing on this stage playing to like thousands and thousands yeah. of people. You just like, you know when, yeah, they're starstruck. It's yeah, I, I saw the uh, the photo on your Instagram actually. Mm. I had a bit of a nose, like Why you not? do, innit? You've got your own, yeah. <laughs> Everyone has a nose. Yeah, I saw it? the photo. The artwork's really cool too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's just like, I feel like, that's, that's what I was saying before about like open doors and stuff. Like, mm. I don't think people who aren't in this like creative industry realise like the amount of how fun it is. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I feel like that's yeah, yeah, online. This, it yeah. is just a fun job, isn't it? It's Do you think Liverpool is a close-knit city? Yeah. Do you think the, economy, uh, do you think the community is quite... Uh, um, mm. Everyone knows each other within certain communities, like, you know? Yeah, so I, I was talking to <clears> someone <throat> about this the other day. Um, I feel like if... Like me personally, and I feel like it's the same for like other creatives, I feel like this city gives so much support to yeah. people who are trying to become successful, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. in what other city would you get it, do you know what I mean? I feel like, yeah. do you know what I mean? I posted, I did a mural in the Baltic market and like every little news outlet yeah, they, in the yeah, city yeah. jumped on it. Like the social yeah. media support was, yeah. do you know what I mean? But then if, if you're in London, it'd be one, yeah, it'd be a lot harder, wouldn't it? But two, you'd be like, I feel mm. like it's not as quite nice as Liverpool, is it? No. Like you just said. It's... It might get painted over within 24 hours Literally. in London with mm. someone else. Never been to London? No? Never been. Oh gosh, mm. we're so oh. young, so I mean, yeah, London's all right. It's changed a lot over the years. Mm. Someone said Camden, that's like this. Yeah, RCC Camden School, uh, Soho. Mm. Um, yeah. I'll have to go. But yeah, like, like, I, I think you're right though, it, it's like, not necessarily like everyone knows everyone, but I feel like there's a link to everything and yeah. I feel like it's a very, very creative city, do you know what I mean? And mm. the opportunities here are like, mm. like, like I say, I'm, I'm 18 now and I've been given kind of <laughs> these, these chances and pe- people have took a chance with me. Yeah. And <clears throat> even when, do you know what I mean? I still don't feel like I, I'm learning every single day. I mm. always say that I'm, mm. my work's not perfect. I'm, do you know what uh, I mean? Yeah. I'm, when when I first come to Liverpool, mm. um, I've been travelling up and down for about ten years, but I've been living in Liverpool for about four years. Mm. So ten years ago, for me as an outsider to the city, I was welcomed with open arms. That's how I ended up moving here because of the amount of work I was, mm. the amount of projects in the city I was getting involved in. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've never had a tough time up here. Where so are you really from welcoming. Originally, um, I'm from South Wales, so do you know Newport? Newport, it rings bell. Do you know GLC, Goldie Look and Jane? GLC, I want to say yeah, but I don't. They're like a they're like a parody rap sort of comedy band. Right. Uh, do you know Tom Jones? I know. Yeah. I know Tom Jones. Yeah, so the telly. Tom Jones off the telly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mix off. Yeah, yeah. Tom Jones. Yeah. Little, yeah. So. Oh, brilliant. 
So roughly the area where he is from. Wow. If you work out how many miles it is back home to like my mm. parents' house, it's uh, 190, 196 miles. Wow. People always say Fair you're far. from Wales, and like they mm. always think I'm from North Wales. I'm like, nah, I'm from. Yeah. I'm from the coal mines, man. Like, See, you know I'm, what I mean? <laughs> that's the thing. I, I was trying to pick <laughs> Gavin, up the Gavin and Stacey. Oh, yeah, so, Stacey, so yeah. down by the Barry Island, yeah. Brilliant. Barry, down, down Oh, wow. There, yeah. Well, see, yeah. I, I am by, like, obviously, a lot of my work used to be about, like, the Beatles. That was, like, yeah. I used to, I jumped on that trend. I was like, let's do loads like, of Beatles. Because <clears throat> I grew up in the area where John Lennon, I always, I, I know this is, like, most people in the world did, but, like, like go, go for it, man, tell I, me. I, Grew up like my bus stop is the Fourth and Road bus stop where Paul McCartney grew up and stuff. Oh, and, cool. Like I've worked with his guitarists on stuff, and they're like the little mm. little links I like to make. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I don't know. Like I used to live uh, just off Penny Lane when I first oh, yeah. moved up here. Yeah. I went to school on Penny Lane. Yeah. Liverpool College. Um, like the big big school, like literally on Penny Lane. You'd probably know. Is it. there a yellow submarine in there? Or is that a There's community not, centre? I know where you mean, though. That's, that's a community centre, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so they, they, Penny Lane Development Trust, I've got <clears> my <throat> stuff in there, actually. They're, they're like a little independent mm. touristy shop. It's nice. I, went, I went in there once for, mm. I think I had a coffee. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice little place. They do like little markets and mm. bits and bobs like that. But again, like they, they, I just finished my GCSEs and they were like, I went went to them, and I had like I'd done some cautions or something. I'd put and I'd mm. signed on cautions. I was like, look, I've got these. Yeah. Is there a, how do I get them in your shop? And they were like, oh, we'll we'll do you know what I mean we'll and they, they just took me in. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's cool. That was a, that was a nice little opening. Cause obviously like tourists <laughs> and stuff with the yeah. people's kind of kind of stuff. But even this area behind us, like, do you know what I mean? Like like we were saying before, about like it being a creative city and stuff like. Mm. Take the tapes right there. Yeah, and there's yeah. so much going on, isn't there? I feel like there's always, obviously I'm only five minutes around the road, but I feel mm. like there's always something going on. Like we've just done the life mm. events, didn't they? And all yeah, yeah. Like that. But, that, that got a lot of people, That's there was too many people for my liking. I remember your, your Instagram was just like, this is ridiculous. There was just a wall, of, it, was, you, mm. it was crazy, it was like a festival. Bad, isn't it? Um, I do, appre- I do appreciate the, the cultural and art festivals, but maybe it might have been a bad call. Mm. Because, <laughs> because the rest of the UK can yeah. have outdoor events. Exactly. I know the, the council year was given an exception for it, mm. but... It's true, isn't it? See, yeah. I, I walked up when it was all closed off. Like they, they said, it was like the day before they started it. Mm. I, was, I was walking down that way and I was like, wait, is that the TARDIS? And the, because I think I oh, messaged yeah, yeah, and I said, yeah, yeah. who's in Liverpool? Yeah. I was like, why the fuck is this in, in town? It they filmed in this building weird. on the fourth floor as well. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, who's that comedian? John Bishop. Yeah, he's from Runcorn, yeah. He's a wall, isn't he? <laughs> Literally, God, don't. Everyone not from <laughs> Liverpool no, thinks he's scary. I don't know. Whatever. But they were filming upstairs in here because mm. there's a big open wooden floor That's and they might have been filming. But they were filming yeah. at the front as well, down down by there. I think that's where I saw them by. Yeah. Like that little front bit. But B- BBC Wales do yeah. Doctor Who. That's like their thing. So yeah. They got they got massive uh, studios down in South Wales. Brilliant. It's really cool. They keep building these studios. Yeah. You know, like Holby City and Casualty. That's mm. in South Wales, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Why? Right. So that's where you came. That's. That's by where you were on. Yeah. Right? Like down by Cardiff. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Fair play. But Cardiff's got a big emerging uh, independent scene now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Um, only in the past few years it started growing. When I came to Liverpool, this, there was already one here. Yeah. Um, what do you call it? Metropolitan. So. so what well, like the independent? <clears throat> what, like the. Loads of arts. Loads of cultural yeah. shops. Loads of culture in general. Music, street art, all that. Yeah. For me to come here. It was like war was so cool, Literally. you know. So, so Cardiff back home, I feel is just emerging now. Yeah. Going through the similar process Liverpool has already been through. I was gonna say, yeah. I feel like this has always been a step ahead here, hasn't mm-hmm. it? Like even then, you know, where I've got my studio, <clears> you know, hundreds artists from mm-hmm. like 
I don't know, some some radius from the, where we are, but mm. it's just like, yeah, I think you're right. It's it's like even not just like from a customer point of view, but even mm. all like the artists in this city, mm-hmm. I feel like link. Do you know what I mean? All links to each other. Yeah, but sometimes yeah. you think, oh no, they're competition for me. When you're like, let's uh, just yeah, keep away. Yeah, like, yeah, like some true. people, I wouldn't, but some people might be in that. Mind. Yeah, I got you. I wouldn't myself, to be yeah. honest. Same, um, same. It's like my day job, I'm a web designer and there's like, yeah. how many web designers are there in Liverpool? You know exactly. what I mean? There's loads. So you kind of bounce off each other and you network and you help each other out on different projects. Yeah. And you share the love. Team. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I've had jobs that have, that have came up that I've passed on to mm-hmm. people like, so I do cartoons and I do illustrations and I was asked to do like a paint like acrylic painting of a portrait mm-hmm. someone's face i was like that's not my forte i'll no. I know someone though do you know what i mean it's, yeah i could do but, realism if i really push for it like yeah. you so just what, know there's so much more time involved in that yeah and, what's uh, your like go-to style if you were to get like if you were to draw something right now what would you do it do would be it would be kind of like, anime anime all right. You know, Japanese anime sort of style. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of like my go-to. That's just like my uh, chilled out style. Yeah. Um, I could do realism, but yeah, you've got to commit the hours into that stuff. Like, you know. Literally. I think, I think that's why, <clears throat> this might come across wrong, but I think that's why I like doing cartoons because, mm. like, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, they still take time. They still take a lot of planning. Still, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've still got to think about it all, but... I feel like I, there's a quote once, keep hiring again. Said, yeah. He was like, it's a fast world, so why not work fast? Yeah. Because he used yeah. to go down and do like stuff in the substations in um, America. And so, well, not, not substations, mm-hmm. the subway stations. Mm-hmm. You know why I said that? Mm-hmm. Um, and that that's what I'm jumping on that more and more. Like that whole idea of fast, quick. Got me in I got you. From your mind, isn't it? There's um there's an illustrator who's got a YouTube channel. I can't remember his name now, mm. but I'll link it in the description on this, yeah. whatever. And um, he's for for the past thirty years, he's been doing realism, wow. and he can't do it anymore. He's uh, stripped it right back. His art Dude. style, he's gone back to like really basic sort of style. But you look at it. You look at his thirty year career and his artwork is incredible. Yeah. Dragons. Um, medieval sort of people in suits of armor and people in battle and stuff like super realism yeah. and he's like i can't do it anymore so he stripped it all back he's gone back to uh you know sort of like a cartoony style you yeah. know I don't Out, outline like sort of artwork there's more freedom with that like yeah i love realism love like <clears> that <throat> style but mm. that, that's what i mean like i don't think i could sit for like four hours on one piece and then mm. do you know like mm. for each day straight job yeah, like yeah. to bounce off different projects and stuff yeah i got you like that with the murals that i do like people say how long do they take and they're always shocked when i say i normally get them done in a day like <laughs> i don't know why because it's just like cartoon <clears throat> like but you plan before it do you know what i mean you've, yeah. got, you've got a knack to it though there's a can yeah. i ask you can i ask you about the eyebrows uh, the car- on my cartoons? Like, yeah, my- they've got a distinctive <laughs> eyebrow. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it flo- it's, quite, it's yeah. quite consistent throughout your artwork. See, people, people normally say the eyes, so that's interesting. It's the, the eyebrow. Yeah, it's the eyebrow. Yeah. Like, I don't know, that, that just started, and I guess it stuck with the characters. Yeah. Like, I've, I've stuck with the same style, like, right mm. through. Like, I've made that. Mm. I've, I've not even on purpose. It's just... It just happens. I felt comfortable, yeah, and I don't know where it came from, but... Like, yeah, it makes, makes them come alive, I think. Like, yeah, they're I cool. the eyes to last kind oh, of thing, but... So, like, a sort of... Like, the... Yeah, I can't do it. I can't literally. do it. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, that, yeah, that's, cool. that's the thing. And, again, like you were saying about the city being all linked and stuff, like, uh, people are coming into the studio now and... Looking, like, it's, it's looking nice for eyebrows. That, yeah, <laughs> literally looking for eyebrows. It's nice that they're starting to recognise the work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Like more more. It's, yeah. Very, it's very distinctive. It's yeah. I and don't think got... I don't think someone like from my standpoint, mm. I don't think someone could look at my artwork and say that Aaron did that mm. on Juicy Pixel or whatever they call me. 
And is um, that but just... with you, I can. Like, mile yeah. off. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That, that's like things like that I love to hear because like that's what I'm going for. Do you know what I mean? But mm. I feel like with your work, you, you it sounds like you've got a very <clears throat> creative switched on mind. Like you've got I, your fingers in all the pies. Haven't yeah, you? It's too too many sometimes. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. you've got to, I guess like. With me, I've got books going on, murals. Mm. Um, I've just, I, I've this year started selling like my original work properly, which I've never really done because I thought, why would? Yeah. Why, like, and I never well, thought people would want it. Do you know what I mean? But <coughs> well, la- last year I started selling my original. Brilliant. I've been I've been self-employed for thirteen years now, wow. and the original idea was for me to do art, mm. but because I was back home where I'm from, the economy there was no economy. There's no economy. There's no, um, there's no, no, no one's making enough money to spend on artwork and stuff like that. It's quite, it's, yeah. like where I'm from is quite, yeah. it's quite sad really. But yeah, there's no mm. um, disposable income, Got you know, because people who buy art usually have a disposable income, but yeah. back home there wasn't. So I focus more on computer languages and stuff like that. So I've, yeah. I've did that for a long time, and now I've kind of. I feel like I'm gonna break. I'm breaking back into artwork again. Yeah. Even though I've always done artwork, but I've never, um, I've never sold originals. And I feel so like since that's... November last year, I'm trying to give it a go now. Brilliant. And again, <laughs> that, that's because of this. I guess this city and this. Yeah, yeah. Thing, do you know what I mean? Like, I think people do buy art here, don't they? Mm, I'm they sure do. they do in all the places. Do you know what I mean? But it's. Yeah. It's very reliant on what what's around you, isn't it? It is, yeah. I was I wasn't living in a city back home, I guess. So I what, where where was it? Like what what? I know you said you said like, like the location. Yeah, like what 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 do you mean by like? Is it was it just um, economics or, or what, what? I was in a little village that had one post office oh, and, yeah. a, and a pub. Wow. So yeah. So you were like the local artist, then you were the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Awesome. People always knew me for being creative back home, and mm. um, they always used to egg me on and go on and did things that you like. That must have been like a big change coming here from like a small little town. Growing up, I never thought I would ever end up in such a place like this. Mm. <laughs> but I'm ever grateful for it as well. Exactly. I'm so ever grateful for coming to Liverpool. Yeah. No, no it's, it's nice. Like, uh, I guess. There was, there was a big stereotype. like. Like where I'm from, they stereotype scouters terribly. Really, and in a bad me, way. In a bad way, and for me to come here, yeah. And um, I've never met a scouter to live up to the stereotype that I was. It's true, isn't it? Told about, yeah. It's ridiculous. I know people who slander yeah. Liverpool all the time. I've never been here once. Don't get it. I'm defending Liverpool every time I go mm. home. Even when we go on <laughs> holiday, it's like. But they support watching, Liverpool watching. football team back home. It's like, come on, yeah. man. What are you playing at? Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't call the kettle black. Is that what they say? Yeah, pop calling the kettle black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's that's the thing. Like when just where, like when we're on holiday, like that links to that. There, everyone's like, it's been a few times where people have come and stole. Watch them jokingly jump. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Watch, watch your wallets, but it's not yeah. true, is it? No, it's, it's not. It never it's is. Not. And yeah. if any, if anything goes back to the saying, everywhere's got their good and bad people, exactly. you know. Yeah, and that, that's the thing, like, when, like, when I started doing this, I was at school, I was, <clears> God, I must have been, like, year 10 at mm. school when I started my little Instagram account, mm-hmm. um, it wasn't a business back then, do you know what I mean, it's, it's turned into that now, but it was, like, just, like, a little, little place for me to post my drawings, Yeah. and town was just, like, coming come here was, like, a big day out, do you know what I mean, like, some mysterious place, <laughs> it was, like, yeah. Like it used to be what like once a month we'd come into town yeah and i literally like i'd say i spend most of my time mm. out and about now in town and yeah that makes me sound like i'm out <clears> all the time <throat> drinking does it i'm not what i mean by out and about <laughs> is like out and about meeting people and working and all stuff like that and it's taking in just taking in the city like, taking it in yeah and yeah. the inspiration that comes from it and stuff is i never isn't it? it's when I was growing up, because Cardiff is like the capital of Wales, I never went to yeah. Cardiff until I was like 17. Imagine this. My own capital city, and lived 45 minutes away from it. Crazy, isn't it? It is, man. I guess that's like the London thing, though. It's just never, 
never well like we mm. never went as a family growing up do you know what mm. i mean it's just mm. like we spent a lot of time in the city and local places and stuff and mm. so i'm one of four i'm one of four so it's like there's always been like a young yeah. child in the family but i'm one of two Oh, brilliant. Boy, yeah. brother or sister? Brother. He's brother. about a year older than me, so he's hard That's work. Like, is he still in... Um, <laughs> yeah, he's still in South Wales. Brilliant. He works in a factory. Very nice. So there's a, there's a massive contrast yeah. between me and my brother, especially yeah. when it comes to careers. You know, That's but, like, but he's happy doing it, you know, this, yeah. that's his thing. Exactly. Not everyone's going to... It's about, it's about what mad. you enjoy, isn't it? Like so, someone said to me, you know, any job, like, do you know what I mean? Who, like, who, who are people to judge mm. us for enjoying being creative? Who are people to judge? I don't know, like, I'm trying to think, <clears> you know, a barista for loving what they do. Do you mm. know what I mean? Who mm. people my judge? girlfriend's a barista. So. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 my my, my uh, best mate, he, he works in, like, he's a barista slash chef. Mm. So he, he's, do you know what I mean? He, he like, that, that's the thing. It's what you enjoy, isn't it? It's, it's what you enjoy and you could be like way up there and in top dollar couldn't you and yeah. feel unhappy doing what you do and yeah. like i don't know my, my mindset's definitely changed from wanting to become some like big you know this mm. big massive mm. artist guy that i used to be i bet you never thought about the money at the beginning did you um no. it, it never was about the money no. it was always about the drawings and i think i did when i realized oh i can earn a bit of money yeah. from this I started creating <clears throat> work that wasn't me, that mm. I didn't enjoy. Mm. And then mm. now it's just like, if I can earn enough to get on, do yeah. what I enjoy, go <laughs> see the world, then yeah. I'm happy with that. Do you know what I mean? It's, awesome. Yeah. Are you, are you the same? Are you just like, well, how, um, how for, would you say what? For my first few years, I never got paid much for anything. Mm. I got paid at all sometimes. Mm. It was just doing it for the love of it. Yeah. Um, and then I just had people approach me, ask if they can hire me for projects and stuff like that. Mm. And then you just start getting paid. Yeah. Um, you don't think you don't think about the money though, you always think about mm. think about what you're creating more than anything. Literally and I, Mo I money and success is Yeah. Like money is a byproduct to success. hundred percent. It just happens. If you're chasing money then mm. I said this of Amy, if you're the type of person to do it just for the money, yeah. you're going to spend it as soon as you get it. Mm. And you're gonna, you know what I mean? Just it's do true. it for the love of it. It's true. And like, I, I feel like, like who, you know, who am I to talk? Because I'm obviously still like just getting into the world. And so stuff, young, like, you're going to, you've know I mean? got like, a long way to go. Literally, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking like some philosopher, aren't I? But like, <laughs> I don't know, like, again, I saw a quote and it was like, it's... God, what was it? I'm not going to be able to remember it now. I'm like, it, it's no, basically gonna, saying like, it now, yeah. money's not everything. Do you know what I mean? Like you've yeah. got to put your happiness <clears> first sometimes, haven't you? And it is. It is. It's nice. It's it's so nice that we're able to earn from mm. doing something so fun and so creative, isn't it? I guess it's. It is. Do you know what I mean? Like even <clears> if there has been like projects in the past where you know things have fell through and. Mm. I haven't been paid in the end, or I haven't just been paid at all. But <clears throat> that's you know happened I mean? a few times. As long as you enjoy it, that's what it's about, isn't it? I guess. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you, and you're always learning on the job. Exactly. Every new project is a new learning experience. Yeah. That's not me you're saying. You're taking that. these incremental steps. Yeah. To become Jesus. Literally. <laughs> that's, that's the end goal, isn't it? You know, you're taking these steps to become a better person, yeah. and you learn a lot about yourself at the same time. So, you find me in Mersey Maids, we're on Paradise Street, so just by John Lewis, 98 Paradise Street, um, big, you'll, you'll see it, big red brick building, um, you come in, there's the cafe, and then I'm literally above it, studio upstairs, so I've got like a little, little hidey corner, and then in front of that I've got like my display, literally, yes, yeah, so it's all... I saw the photos on Instagram. Oh. So much I've just <laughs> tried to put all my favourite stuff. I was going to say all my best stuff, but that's quite big headed. I feel like all, all my favourite stuff, do you know what I mean? Like I've yeah. put, put in there and there's 
like I say, you know, I was saying about like learning off different people, like there's 10 different artists upstairs mm-hmm. who I share the studios with. Like just like, I guess like this place, you know what I mean? It's like a communal little place where we can all work and sell our, sell our work from. And um, so you can pop in there. And then also online, I've got my website, seanwebsterillustration.com. 